Today's Gospel is taken from the Gospel of St. Luke. Jesus said, Stop judging, and you will not be judged. Stop condemning, and you will not be condemned. Forgive, and you will be forgiven. Stop judging, and you won't be judged. So often we think that God is the one who's going to judge us or condemn us. And that's the motive, as it were, for us not to judge, not to condemn. Watch out. If you do that, God's going to get you in the end. But I think Jesus has something much more powerful to say than just watch out for a vindictive God who wants to mete out the same narrow-minded judgments with which we judge. More immediately in the present moment, if we don't judge, we will begin to create a place, an atmosphere, call it the kingdom of God. And in that atmosphere, there is no judgment. In that atmosphere, we can be who we are without fear of condemnation. We can live in our own belovedness and allow ourselves to respect the belovedness of others. What Jesus comes to proclaim is a new way of thinking, a new way of acting, that if we were all on the same page, as it were, we would have heaven on earth. But some realists would say that's impossible. There's no way I can stop judging others. There's no way I can stop condemning others. But isn't this why we enter into the season of Lent? Because we want the Lord to help us in our weakness. And so, rather than just simply fear that God is in some way going to catch us off guard because of our judgmental attitude, come to the Lord today and ask him to help you to let go of those particular judgments that just keep you locked in a place where there is bitterness and anger in your own heart and soul. Let the Lord love you in that place to free you and help you to see things from his perspective. God bless you and have a wonderful day.